there. I'm Tanya. I'm the owner and founder of Celex, the seaweed skincare brand. And I'm here today as part of the seaweed sessions. Thank you, Cascadia Seaweed, for having me here today. I'd like to start off by acknowledging that the, the beach that we are on today, which Celex is operates on, is, is Crescent Beach beautiful Crescent Beach and I grew up in Crescent Beach but it really hasn't been until the last few years that I've recognized the historical significance that this particular area has had from the First Nations and I'd love to express my deep respect and gratitude to the Musqueam, Kwantlen, Tuasin and Samiamu First Nations for allowing Celux to operate under this unceded territory. This seaweed sessions that we have coming up, I'm very excited about. We're going to have a bit of an interactive seaweed skincare session where we're going to do a, a facial. So hopefully everybody got their envelopes that had ordered them to participate and follow along. So that's going to be later on in the session. But um, like I can talk about how I got started with seaweed and and why I even started my business. So yeah, follow me and we'll go for a walk along Crescent Beach. My relationship with seaweed did not start out well. I did not appreciate it as a kid. It was icky, slimy, gross, stinky, got in the way of when I was trying to swim out. This here, I would have to wade out in this and it would be like touching my legs and it was just so horrific and terrifying as a child this was one of my scariest places to be as a child but just over there is that water and the sandy bottom and there's no seaweed so I would have I'd have to put on a brave face and wade through this to get there and now I love seaweed and now it doesn't bother me at all and in fact I'm trying to be here rebranding seaweed as something as that has so much beauty potential and and so much value and worth so I'm really happy to be here today to show you like the potential that beauty that seaweed has in your skincare and right here in Crescent Beach there's so much seaweed mmm bladder rack Get in my belly, get on my face. Sea lettuce, this is the best, the best lettuce to eat to start your seaweed journey. Yum. So where I really started to realize the benefits of seaweed and even take an interest in seaweed was when I was in my early twenties and I was, um, really quite ill. I was having tremendous hormonal issues and soon was diagnosed with uh, thyroid disease. And it wasn't very long after that that I had thyroid cancer. And my doctor, he suggested that I look into seaweed of all things. And so, so there I was, a single mom afraid for my future, afraid for my daughter's future, and I was looking to seaweed for help. And I hate to use the cliche game changer, but for me, bringing seaweed into my life was a matter of feeling healthy and feeling like death. So yeah, to me, seaweed was a game changer. But it, that was 20 years ago, and I'm, I'm all better now. So like I, I don't have to worry too much about like my, any of my thyroid issues, um, but I still s continued researching seaweed and where I've really taken an interest is seaweed getting used in skincare. So that's how I ended up developing my skincare brand. I was young, a young mom and I wanted to use natural products so I just started making my own natural products from like toothpaste, deodorant and and it just sort of blossomed from from there and it's it's something that I love so I've always had seaweed 
as a part of my life. And now I have this great seaweed skincare brand that I get to share with so many people. So yeah, I feel very fortunate to have seaweed in my life right now. And I can't wait to show you guys the seaweed that we use. So come to my studio and I'll give you a glance at uh, how we incorporate seaweed in our skincare. Here we are in the Celex Crescent Beach studio. This is my favorite place to be as an adult and I get to do all my experimenting and making the products and this room here particularly is our Celex kitchen. So in front of me I just have some seaweed hydrating. It was um, all dried. I don't have any um, I, I didn't have any fresh seaweed to share with you today, unfortunately. Um, I should probably point out that the seaweeds that I was um, joking around with on the beach when I said, get in my belly, get on my face. Well, that seaweed, I, I was actually joking, like you would not, that seaweed is really good for fertilizer. It's certainly useful, but it, I wouldn't, don't eat that seaweed and please don't use it for your skincare either. It's already started to deteriorate and you wanna, you wanna use some really good quality seaweed. Um, at the end of this, I can put a, um, a couple links to where uh, you, you can get some seaweed that would be appropriate for eating and appropriate for using in your skincare if you wanted to start on that journey. Here we have kelp. Kelp is a powerhouse skincare ingredient. This is a big, beautiful brown seaweed um, that grows in dense underwater forests. Uh, kelp is swept by strong currents and it absorbs all its minerals and nutrients from the salty brine that surrounds it. Um, uh, kelp is a wonderful ingredient to use in skincare. It has like an incredible um, detoxifying ability. It really helps to flush out the toxins from your body. Um, it also contains amino acids and antioxidants and, and these are great for your skin because it promotes the collagen production that really helps to smooth the fine lines and the wrinkles. Um, you can feel the surface of the skin of the kelp um, is a, it's a little bit slimy and that slime is actually a really beneficial skin for your skin because it contains this it's a bioactive peptide and that really helps to heal and repair your skin um, so that's uh, why we use it um, here at Celex in a lot of our products and um, what you're gonna see in our in our upcoming facial demo that we're going to be doing we're going to use this um, for under our eyes up next we have this Turkish towel it's also known as nature's washcloth this is a fantastic seaweed to use we don't use it at Celex because it's incredibly hard to source but I, I wanted to bring this up because it is one of my favorite seaweeds to include in my skincare personally. Um, this, this seaweed is um, terrific because it's got a really lovely texture to it. Uh, your skin sheds 40,000 cells a minute and 20,000 of those cells that it's shedding, those dead skin cells are coming straight from your face. So. What's really beautiful about the seaweed is like all these um, bumps on it. It actually is releasing this mucilage and this this mucilage is uh, polysaccharide that really helps to hydrate and retain the moisture while the the rough pipolae surface of it, it's, um, it helps just do a really nice gentle exfoliation. So your skin's really going to be revived and and uh, nicely exfoliating, really helping to get rid of all those dead skin cells on your on your skin. Uh, this also uh, detoxifies by de uh, increasing the circulation. Um, the gel is antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial. Um, this one here that I have is like, it's, it's gigantic. So you wouldn't want to use one this size. You could just 
trim trim up a little piece of it and and dry it in between uses and you can use it up to seven times so this is what's really lovely about this and it's really quite a hearty substantial seaweed i've um this would be the only seaweed that i would find washed up on the shore after a storm and uh, because it does take quite some time to uh, start to decompose uh, for all of you uh, seaweed farmers out there or potential seaweed farmers if I have a lot of customers that would love to have the seaweed and I would I would love to help them out so if you were thinking about maybe growing something um, a little bit exotic on your lines I would like get in touch with me I would love to find a really good source for this seaweed so many goodies in my little bucket here next up we have ova we talked about this on Crescent Beach I think I flinged it at the camera um, this little seaweed is found all over the world and it's really easy on the taste buds for anybody that's just um, wanting to try and cook with seaweed at home. Um, what makes this little seaweed so special is it, it contains a rare enzyme called aocyne. Um, aocyne is an enzyme that neutralizes elastase in the skin. Um, elastase is terrible for your skin because it's responsible for breaking down elastin. Um, we want lots of elastin in our skin because it allows our skin to stretch and then snap back into its original form. So that's this little special seaweed. Okay, so up next we have Alaria. I'm just going to put this in the hot water just to just to show you guys by the end of this how much this this expands and how you can recognize it um, in the Celux products. Um, Alaria is great because it's full of vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and antioxidants. Um, it really promotes um, good skin health by stimulating hyaluronic acid um, in skin. So hyaluronic acid is really what um, what plumps up your skin and gives you that fresh, healthy look to your skin. Um, you, um, it also uh, supports a healthy skin barrier and improves uh, skin hydration. We use a lot of it in um, we use a lot of it in our bath teas, and it it comes out really black. So when you look in our black bath teas and you see the little black chunks of seaweed in there when you do put it in you can put it um put it in the water and it really expands and it turns this beautiful can you see that it, this beautiful green color and it expands about 20 times its actual size so it really is a, a beautiful seaweed and i always encourage people when they're in the bath to even take the pieces out of the tea bag and use it like if you have any kind of skin ailments because it's just such a wonderful seaweed to use next up we have bladder rack and bladder rack is really easy to recognize and one of the first seaweeds to reveal itself um, and found locally on the west coast of British Columbia. And it was given its name bladder rack because of these little bladders that are really fun to pop. Um, and it also has a common name of rockweed because at, at low tide you can see it clinging to all the rocks. Um, we love bladder rack at Celux and it is one of our favorite seaweeds that we use uh, because of its healing capabilities. Um, bladder rack uh, stimulates circulation. Um, it really brings the blood to the surface, um, surface of your skin where the healing can really take place. Um, you want that blood to be at your surface because it's almost like it's giving a, a breath of fresh air for your skin. It's um, 
it, it, it might also make you feel a little bit flushed or there might be a little bit of redness or and like a warmth and that's just because bladderwrack does contain quite a bit of niacin um, and that that feeling goes away really quickly um, the circulation in uh, that bladderwrack creates also helps with uh, cellulite bladderwrack has a uh, uh, really good detoxifying capabilities uh, they uh, in spas, you'll find that they will um, grind up dried bladder rack and turn it into a paste and they'll make that into like a full body wrap um, to detox and flush the toxins out of your body and give your um, you a appearance of a smoother textured bum dimples. Um, <laughs> um, all the seaweeds, like including bladderwrack, are incredibly hydrating, and we all know that hydrated skin equals healthy skin. Um, what else? Uh, if you suffer from under eye bags, like I probably do right now, you could hydrate this bladderwrack and put it in the fridge for a little while. This is just like such an easy, simple nature's remedy. And just take one of these little pieces and, and it will settle down the puffiness and reduce inflammation. It's like really great for under eye bags because of, it has um, anti-inflammatory capabilities. That anti-inflammatory um, capabilities that it has also helps um, with uh, the inflammation, inflamed pimples and ac for acne prone skin. It also has antiviral and antibacterial properties so it really is good if you if you're having some problems with acne this is a really great seaweed that you can use topically on your skin um, but where bladderwrack really gets the most kudos is a component of bladderwrack called codin um, this boosts the collagen production and increases elasticity in your skin um, where aging and premature aging skin is really going to see benefits from the skin. So yeah, bladderwrack just has tremendous benefits for your skin and we love it. We, yeah, I can't get enough of it and I'm just so fortunate that it's found locally in British Columbia. And the last but not least, we have Irish moss. It's a little bit tricky to find because I've got so many seaweeds in here. There you are. We have Irish moss. Um, this is a natural moisturizer. It protects, it softens, and it soothes your skin. It creates this really wonderful lovely film on your skin and this film is terrific for um, sunburns, scratches, bruises, stings or really any any kind of skin irritation that you might have if you're having like an allergic re reaction to something. Uh, this is a really beautiful soothing uh, soothing product to use. We're going to extract the carrageenan from this seaweed to use in our facials. So you guys would have gotten a little envelope with um, some dried up Irish moss like this. And we're going to make that into a really nice moisturizer that we're going to apply after we are finished with our face mask. That was such a beautiful introduction. Thank you so much. I learned so much just in that very short time. Such a beautiful introduction. And I wanted to tell you that I'm not doing a facial today with you, but I did have an amazing soap last night with one of your bath teas. And wow, on my skin, honestly, I felt beautiful, like so soft and lovely when I came out of the tub. So thank you for that. Oh, good. That's yeah, it was great. Weird. Thank and you. just be, just before you start and introduce your lovely assistant, I just wanted to let everyone know that if you have any questions at all for Tanya, please do pop them in the chat box to the host, and we will get to as many questions as we can throughout. And um, yeah, take it away. <laughs> okay, well, I want to start by saying that in Crescent Beach, there's a train that goes by, and it just so happens that right now, the train is going by. <laughs> so... <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves if you can't hear me. This here is my beautiful daughter and she has volunteered 
to to do the facial for me today. So um, she's she's yeah. We're going to apply the face mask and all the good stuff with Sierra, <laughs> everybody. My beautiful daughter. Um, so I've pre I made um, my face. Can you guys see that? My face gel. So this is what you guys should have at home if you boiled your package one, which was full of the Irish moss that we just talked about. And this is gonna be for the third step of that, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys had made that gel because that's gonna be the last part that you're gonna wear all day. It's gonna be so <laughs> lovely. And um, to start with, I have my green tea here and I'm just gonna pour it into this beaker so you guys can see. And I'm gonna take my package two and just hydrate it in that green tea. The green tea is like, mine is barely warm. I made it before we even started. So, <laughs> so it's gonna be nice. And then the package three, which I've already put into a little bowl, I'm just gonna hydrate it. So you add the entire contents of your package three and it's going to be about three teaspoons of water. Um, I, I would suggest just, just mixing it up a little bit at a time until you, um, you form a nice, a nice uh, pudding-like paste to it. It should be nice and a little moussey. So um, and get it all mixed in. So we're gonna spread this face mask around. You want to make sure that it's not super thick. You want it to be just a little bit runny because you don't want it to dry on your skin while you want it to be activated as long as you can. So the great thing about seaweed is it can be perfectly dry and you can just add a little bit of water and activate all those beneficial ingredients to it. It really, dried seaweed can last for five years and retain all those nutrients. So it's really like such a wonderful ingredient to use. So mine's nicely mixed up. It's, I probably added just a little bit too much water, but mine's a little full. <clears throat> I added too much water, unfortunately. But, <laughs> so it's gonna be quite runny on, on Sierra's face, but it, that, it doesn't matter. As long as we can get a little layer on our face, it's going to be fine. So I do have um, a brush that I like to apply the seaweed with. I'm just gonna get her hair out of her face a little bit. Thank you guys for following along and doing this facial with me. How fun. What a great idea, Cascadia seaweed. Okay. Tanya? Yep. Just while you're doing that, can you mention what the different seaweeds are in the different packages? We have lots of people asking what's in package one, two, and three. Oh, sure, yeah. Okay, so the package one is Irish moss. And so Irish moss has a really great polysaccharide called uh, carrageen. And you just need to boil it just a little bit to release that carrageen. And that's what makes that really nice gel. Um, and that gel in the carrageen is going to act as a, a bit of a film former for your skin. And it's going to, um, it's going to be really hydrating and moisturizing. So it's going to be the final step that we make, but it needs to be the first step because that's the one that we need to boil. Um, okay. The second, Perfect, thank you. The second uh, package is uh, the kombu kelp. And that's just a little piece of kombu and we're going to use it, um, we're gonna use it under our eyes. So you just have one piece, you just need to break it up a little bit. Is it, do you feel a little bit runny? It is quite serious. <laughs> serious is quite runny. Yours at home should be a little bit thicker, but, but uh, here, I'll give you this cloth just in case. And in package three, Tanya? And in package three is our, our Celux seaweed facial mask. So that one has um, quite a few, quite, quite a few seaweeds in it. it um, it has the bladder rack, which we talked about before, of course, because that's um, our favorite one. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. So this is the hydrated kombu kelp that was in the, the green tea. 
so the green tea already is, you know that tea, tea bags are terrific for your eye bags. But we're just, we hydrated this seaweed. So this is an anti-inflammatory. So this is really going to help with the under eye puffiness. So I'm just gonna rip this. I'm gonna rip it just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see when I pulled it apart, it had those little, the, the polysaccharides already coming. So we're just gonna put it right like underneath our eyes. So you can, you can just hold it there. Okay. Well, look at how pretty <laughs> you are. <laughs> I feel like a seaweed queen. <laughs> and you could even just hydrate that kombu and use the raw kelp right on your face. And it's really going to be act as a really lovely facial mask. So what we're doing here is, so I was talking about the bladder rack and the bladder rack in this face mask, it's, um, it's uh, going to help with fighting the free radicals and it might even bring, um, we're trying to bring the blood to the surface of your skin where you can get more oxygen in it. So it can really, really work. So it's going to help fight the free radicals and bladder rack is also really great with the elastin in your skin, which I mentioned before. And then it also has, um, it also has kelp, um, not the kombu, it has the macrocytis kelp in it. And that is going to help with the collagen production in our skin. So this is really going to um, be beneficial. So again, that's also going to, it has quite a bit of, um, oh, what's it called now? Niacin, that's really gonna bring, bring out that flush feeling to your, your face, but it's also going to help um, with the, um, bringing the, helping with your collagen production. Kelp and the clay in this mask is really great at um, detoxing. They work together. They're both negatively charged. And so you want to use a negatively, you want to use a negative charge to pull out all the toxins, the debris, any kind of pollution that you have. So it's really going to pull out um, all, all the debris deep in your pores. So it's really going to give you a really nice deep clean. So, um, so the, we're, and this is a sea clay that we're using from Canada. So we're, um, these, both of these are just really terrific at detoxifying your, your skin. Um, a little trick that I have when, I, and we're going to want to leave this mask on for like, Normally I would say leave it on for 10 minutes, but you want to leave it on as soon as it starts drying and cracking at the edges, that's when you'd want to take it off. Um, you, because when it's moist, that's when it's activated. And when it's really working, when it dries out, it's just going to, it's, it, it's just, it's not working anymore. And it's also, it could just make your skin a little bit cracked. My trick is I use our, our, rose and seaweed toner and I just keep it moist. She didn't need me to do that because I made a very runny mask, <laughs> but I just keep it nice and moist just with, um, it, you could even just use uh, like a spray bottle with water if, um, if you made it too thick and it's starting to dry already, so. Okay, Tanya, I have a couple questions for you. Okay. Um, fr from Hannah, she would like to know what's your favorite seaweed skincare product that you use in your own skincare process? Okay, well, my, oh, tough question. <laughs> I have so many favorites. Right now in my shower, I have our uh, seaweed and coffee scrub. Um, okay. I have, um, I'm shedding my winter skin. So I'm using, I'm using that regularly. And it's, it's got a lot of, it's half and half uh, seaweed and coffee. So it really helps to exfoliate. And then also the coffee keeps your skin hydrated and moisturized. So that's one that I have in my shower. I also have um, our Goddess Grains facial, um, facial cleanser in our shower, which is more it's a dry powder that you mix um, in your hand and it has Irish moss in it and it just acts as like a little facial polish so it helps just with the exfoliation without um, without being a really strong exfoliator so I, I use it every day um, when and, I go ahead 
when I was talking earlier about our, our skin sheds 20,000 cells every single minute on your face, this, this facial polish really just leaves a really nice surface on your skin. And then, and then all the other products, once you, once, if you can exfoliate your skin really well, any, any other product that you add to it is going to, to work so much better and sink in deeper. And, um, and just someone asking if the mask is runny, does it still have the same effect? It does. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, it does, great. It just doesn't, it, you just don't want to have it super runny because then it doesn't stick to your face. So you're constantly dabbing your face. <laughs> okay. Um, it's also not that you can see, um, looking, you can yeah. see because I didn't put a very big layer on Sarah's face, it's already starting to dry. So if you have a thicker layer, it's not going to dry as quickly. So okay. she's got okay. it a thin layer we can put we can add a little bit more because I forgot to put a timer on to see how long and when I'm talking I really lose track of time so um, <laughs> and yet Tanya how about this question is the mask the bladder rack okay for people with um rosacea or would it be aggravating because you mentioned like a reddening effect so just wondering about that it's one actually it's actually um quite soothing and calming for people that have rosacea or any um, kind of bladder rack is highly recommended for anybody that does have any kind of skin issues like if you have um, psoriasis rosacea um, acne and what else is like, yeah it, it bladder rack is highly recommended it has a very nice soothing effect it has a polysaccharide um, called bacoidin and um, another polysaccharide called um, algin. And those, both of them are, are really soothing. Like you could think of them as um, like the common film former it would be like aloe vera, but this one has so many more nutrients. So it's much more soothing than that desert plant. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. How about this one from Colleen? What are the benefits of seaweed in lip care? And is seaweed an ingredient in the Sealux Sealux lip balm? Yeah. So seaweed seaweed has um, is film forming. So especially with your lips, the skin on your lips is quite thin. So you want to have um, you want to give it a little bit of barrier protection. So that's what seaweed, seaweed is film forming, which you're, you're going to see when we do our final step. And uh, it just leaves a, it just leaves a little protective barrier and that protective barrier is really long lasting. So you'll notice when you use our lip balm that it lasts a lot longer than um, like a commercial lip balm. Okay, great. And how about this one uh, from Hannah? Do you ever forage for your own seaweed for your skincare? Yes, a lot, all the time. All I mean, I, it's, hard, I, it's hard. I'd spend a lot of time up the coast. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's hard not to really appreciate the richness of BC waters that we have. And, and also like the amount of different seaweeds that we have as well. So it's really one of my favorite things to do is to forage for seaweed, not only just for skincare, I also love to try, try edible seaweed and just try making it into um, really yummy, tasty treats and then, and then force like everybody around me to eat it. <laughs> right, Sierra? Yep. <laughs> and and in terms of eating seaweed we have a question asking do you eat it every day um i try to eat seaweed every day um yeah i would say i probably do eat i i add seaweed to my smoothies for sure um, um the ones that i add to my seaweed regularly would be um dulse and uh kelp um I also would like to just say that I also feed my golden retriever who's <laughs> turning 15 seaweed every day and she is in fantastic shape. <laughs> so I think it's probably because she swims in the ocean and she eats a lot of seaweed. Okay. To the, to the point where even now she's like when she's on the beach, she'll pick up some bladder rack and just start chewing on it. So Wow. Okay. So when you're feeding it to your dog, how, how, in what form? You're just putting seaweed right in the... Um, well, 
she's had some stomach issues in the last last couple of years so okay. I make her I, I cook her food for her now she's not on kibble and I just add it like I sprinkle it on top like okay. a little seasoning and <laughs> s- instead of using salt I just she gets seaweed Okay. And along with all these wonderful questions, we're getting lots of great comments about people who already love your products and are using them all the time. And also lots of compliments about your fabulous, beautiful skin. So oh. clearly, clearly you're a good ambassador for your products. Oh, well, that, well, thank you. That's really nice. I actually don't, I, I actually don't have time to read the comments, so I'm not seeing them, but at the we're end of this, them. I'll, okay, we'll great. We'll save them for you. Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're ready to take this off and we're gonna just take this, um, the macro seaweed off first and we're going to, we can put it right back into the tea and we'll, we'll save that. Okay. And it one more time. <laughs> we could actually dry that macro seaweed and we could use it up to four or five more times wow. under your eyes. Okay. Or you could keep it in your fridge I'll let you do that and I'll give you another one. You guys can just run to your sinks and just wash off your face masks right now while we're doing that. And we're not gonna be talking about anything too important. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're just gonna be getting the face mask right off. Okay, perfect. Don't work, I'm gonna, you get it mostly off and then I'll just wipe off the little bits and then we're going to show the little flushing that you have. Okay. Should we wait until people are back? Yeah. It doesn't take long to, uh, yeah. I'm just cleaning up the little bits on the side of Sarah's face. <laughs> um, Sarah is the whole reason why I I started my business. She's, um, she's always been such a support. And I've also been, she's been my, my guinea pig all these years for trying things out. But um, when Etsy first started, she said, hey, there's this thing called Etsy. Why don't you put your products on Etsy and see what happens? And I did. And it really just blossomed after that. Um, right after that, they had Etsy made in Canada, and I did my first um, market at Etsy made in Canada, and and it I sold out within probably 40 minutes of everything I brought. I was like, oh, how cool is this? I have like all this money in my pocket, <laughs> and then um, and then after that, I got contacted by my very first shop, Islandish in Nanaimo and they Islandish was just starting their business and I was starting my business at the same time and we both um they really had to train me on what wholesale was because when they're (laughs) like no you know this is they really had to show me how to do it and then they sent me um a bunch of links and trained me of how to sell to shops and they were so fantastic and those girls are still like one of our best shops and our best support and I just love them so much wow that's um, they wonderful might, they, yeah. they might be um watching the recording and doing the spatial the spatial with all of their staff is like a team building I have a couple more questions but I wanted to ask Sarah how she's feeling oh, oh. I feel great oh yeah, yeah. nice and clean Very oh yeah refreshed. I wanted to show you guys her face but it's already starting to wear off so <laughs> You can't get in. Yeah. Okay. So her, her face was a little bit flushed, but it's starting to wear off. And that's really how quickly it does wear off. So you don't have anything to worry about. Um, we're going to take these little pieces of kombu and we're just going to use them as a little bit of an exfoliator. These are the ones that are on, under the eye. Yeah. So we're just going to. And while you're doing that, can I ask you a couple more questions? Sure. Okay. Uh, do you use the entire bladder rack or the gel inside the bladders? Oh, I use the entire bladder rack. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I use, how, I, yep. I use this bladder rack. Like bladder rack is just one of those things that are so easy to find on BC coasts that um, like I will use it if 
I've been kayaking for too long and my legs are sunburned and I will just put it on my legs. And it really just like, just that one, Bladderac is so fantastic because that one ingredient, that one plant does so many things, but it, it does, um, it does soothe sunburns and it also has a UV protection as well. There's a lot of papers and studies going on right now in um, using um, seaweed for sunscreen as a natural sunscreen. And so far it's been really promising. So I'm very excited right now. It's a really great time for seaweed because there's a lot of studies and a lot of money getting put into the research to get all these studies done. So we're really just scratching the surface of what we know that seaweed's capable of right now. Fantastic. Um, Tanya, is there a resource or a PDF or a page that sort of outlines um, like a summary of maybe the different seaweeds or the skincare benefits, that sort of thing for folks to sure, read? I you you cut out a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a, a few people are asking, is there a summary, like a PDF or a one page resource that they could have that would give them sort of the summary of the benefits of, of the seaweed and some of the information? Oh, I'm so happy that you're asking this because in the fall, there really isn't. And you really have to dig really deep to find um, the benefits of seaweed unless you're looking to eat it because there's a lot of information. Right like all the papers that you find are very scientific. So what I've done and I've been working on for the last two and a half years is uh, I wrote a book and it's coming out in fall. Oh, <laughs> tell us more. Hair recipes. So <laughs> I've, I've written out like all the, um, the seaweeds that I am comfortable talking about and that we use a lot and um, and I've written out some really simple at-home recipes so you can incorporate seaweed into your skincare routine with the, yeah, just adding oh. just few very simple products. So yeah. Congratulations, that's fantastic. So tell us the name of the book again and where they can, where everybody can find it when it comes well, out. It's not out right now. It's going to yep. be out in the fall and it's right. just going to be seaweed skincare recipe book. Okay. Okay. And will it be online or through the website or how will we find it? Yeah. So you can, you guys can buy it through my website and okay. I'm also hoping to sell it on Amazon and, um, and then also throughout, like I have a lot of supportive shops, so I'm really hoping that they're going to carry my book as well. Oh, um, when I, when I was, um, when I was dreaming about how I was going to launch this book, I wanted to go across Canada with seaweed and go to all my shops and do a bit of a book signing and then COVID happened. So I'm not sure like how that is going to work now, but that was kind of my plan. I wanted to be able to, especially people that aren't, uh, that don't have access to seaweed to just be able to send them a little seaweed package and then they could make some of the recipes at home and it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> That is wonderful, fabulous. Um, here's a good question for you, Tanya. Are there any regulations or restrictions for foraging for seaweed? Do you need a special permit? Okay, so I'm not really sure where everybody is from right now. Right? Okay. Um, but if you are from uh, BC's coast, you are allowed to you're allowed to harvest seaweed sustainably, hand harvest seaweed sustainably. Um, just for your own consumption. So um, I know that if you're in Washington, they have different rules and regulations and I believe that you do need a license, but uh, not a commercial license. You would just need um, like something similar to a fishing license. Okay, and Kennedy, who's on the call here from Cascadia is saying under 10 kilograms, you don't need um, for personal use, like you said, you don't need a permit. Yeah. So, great. Okay, I think there, everyone's gonna be out foraging. I feel this weekend, this is what everyone will be doing. Um, well, if that is the case, let me just hop in here. And I really struggled with whether or not I wanted to, um, to really show you how to identify the seaweed to use. And I, what I would recommend is that you buy Louis Drool's book. So you're able to identify the seaweed to use and also, um, make sure that you're harvesting it sustainably. So don't cut, don't cut it out all the way to the hold fast. You're just gonna wanna take just the tips off. Yeah. 
Okay. And Jennifer, who's our chief scientist here, um, science officer here at Cascadia is saying there's also a really great app called the Seaweed Sorter. Oh, I'm going to write that yeah. down. Yeah, the Seaweed Sorter. Yeah, the by seaweed. Patrick Martone, who was speaking to our seaweed farmers um, in the last couple of days. So it's called the Seaweed Sorter app. Okay. And then, and then um, Louis Drool's book, Kennedy has put it in the um, chat for everybody so that they can can find that book. And then here's a question from Sharon. To keep the seaweed, do you put water in it and keep it in the fridge for the next use? Or do you dry it out and put it in water when you're ready to use it again? So if you're going to keep your seaweed hydrated, um, you would just keep it as you would uh, say lettuce in your fridge. So you put it in your fridge. Um, so it's going to perish within a few days, but you can just take the seaweed and dry it out in between uses. And that's okay. that's what I do. I take it, I, I dry it out because it's so simple to rehydrate. Um, the only time that I don't is when I really want to get the gel off the kelp and I'll leave it in, I'll leave, I'll leave it in the fridge for seven days and just like take the gel off when I need it. Okay. Um, Fantastic. Well, we, can I just, so I just wanted to let you know, we have so many wonderful comments. We'll save them all for you and some, and um, questions that I'm sure we'll pass on to you as well. We only have a few more minutes. So I just wanted to ask you, do you have any closing remarks or anything else that you'd like to share with us before we go? I think we could all stay here all day, honestly, and listen yeah, and watch. Well, we're, we just have one more step to do actually in. <laughs> there you so, go. Okay, so, so let's we do have, it. So just skim off the top you're just going to take a little bit of this gel that came off of the Irish moss. And this gel is the carrageen. This is going to um, really moisturize your skin and leave a little film on your skin. It's not going to be sticky like you think. It's going to be actually quite lovely. And, um, and you don't need to use any kind of moisturizer after this. Your skin's going to be, yeah, going to be fully hydrated. And you should really be able to notice a difference right away. Your skin should feel a little bit softer, um, a little more firm, and just have a really nice glow. And that's also when you're using facial masks, you always, especially with seaweed facial masks, you always get a really beautiful glow afterwards. Um, I'm going to put it on your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can also put it right on your eyes it's perfectly healthy okay <laughs> fabulous wow tanya i can't imagine a better way to have started our morning than with you and sierra and seaweed what a great way to start our day thank you so much for sharing your time and your passion and your um story and we've let everybody know in the chat box how to get in touch with you and where to find your products and um, yeah, I think it's just been a really special, special uh, session. And we thank you so much, both of you, for taking your time and for all that great energy that you put out this morning. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Thanks so much. Thanks everyone Thanks for, for joining here. us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks everyone for joining us and we'll see you at the next Seaweed Session. Take good care. Okay, Thanks bye.